Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this really simple and nice fast zoom blur effect in Premiere Pro. All right, you can see on the timeline, I have got seven different short video clips at the beginning position. Each of these short video clips consists of four frames maintaining a consistent duration throughout. Also, you can see I have got three different long video clips at the end position. You can use any videos that you like. Firstly, let's focus on the first short video clip, and then let's move over to the effects panel to apply some effects. Firstly, I'm going to use a transform effect. Let's drag and drop the transform effect onto the first video clip. Next, I'm going to apply another effect. This is a brightness and contrast effect. Let's drag and drop the brightness and contrast effect onto the first video clip. Now let's go over to the effect controls panel to customize all the effects. From the transform effect, we need to create keyframes for the scale parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Now let's move the first keyframe to the beginning of the video clip. Again, we need to create another keyframe by clicking on this icon. Here we have to make the scale parameter value around 180. After that, move the second keyframe to the end position of the video clip. And then we have to make the shutter angle parameter value around 300. In the following step, make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of the first video clip. Next, we need to create keyframes for the brightness parameter and the contrast parameter of the brightness and contrast effect by clicking on the stopwatch icon. After that, we have to make the brightness parameter value around 30. And then we have to make the contrast parameter value around 30. Next, move the time indicator one frame forward. Here, we have to make the brightness and the contrast parameter value around zero by clicking on this reset parameter icon. Now we need to select all the effects that have been applied in the first video clip. Once selected, we will copy these effects to ensure we have them ready for use. Next, we need to select the rest of the short video clips and paste all the copied effects on them. You can do this by holding the Control or Command key and pressing the V key on your keyboard. Now, it's time to add an effect for long video clips. That's why, go over to the Project panel and we need to create a new adjustment layer. Here, we have to accept the same settings as the sequence, and then click on OK. Now we can drag the adjustment layer from the Project panel over to the timeline and place it on top of the first long video clip in Video Layer 2. After that, right-click on the adjustment layer and then click on Speed and Duration I'm going to make the adjustment layer duration around 12 frames. That's why, let's make the duration value around 12 frames. Next, click on OK. As you can see, the adjustment layer is ready. In the last step, we have to duplicate the adjustment layer two times and place them on top of the second and third long video clips in Video Layer 2. Next, move over to the Effects panel to apply an effect. Now, I'm going to apply a nice and simple bounce shake effect to the adjustment layers. You can download the bounce shake effect using the link provided in the video description. Finally, we need to incorporate the riser sound effect to enhance the visual transition and pair it with the cinematic whoosh sound effect to amplify the impact of the fast zoom blur effect. These audio elements will help us create a more dynamic and attention grabbing experience for the audience. All right, with these couple of steps, we have created this fast zoom blur effect. In this way, you can create this really simple and nice fast zoom blur effect in Premiere Pro.